Today is August 11th, 2017, and we have something exciting that we want to share with you. Ellie, why don't you tell us what that says? It says we're pregnant! We're pregnant! So we are very excited. Jared and I are having a baby. For all of you that have followed Jared and I, uh, you know that um, we've been trying to have a baby and we had a miscarriage a few months ago and um, I am very irregular and so I've been keeping track and I had a period on June 30th and I ovulated on July 30th and so that would leave me right now 12 days past ovulation mm -hmm. and it was just really early to take a test so a few days ago I took a test because I just felt a little off and I felt like my boobs were a little full and we got a very very faint positive and we were like oh my gosh that's crazy you can like barely see it and then yesterday we took a test and you can definitely see the line there and today 12 days past ovulation I got a positive pregnancy test oh again my goodness. Yes. oh my goodness Goodness! Jared and I are very excited. Here in a few days, we have our first doctor appointment, and in four weeks, we have our first ultrasound. Mm -hmm. So, we'll keep you updated day by day as I'm feeling and what's going on. Well, good morning, family. Today is the day we have an ultrasound today. I'm so excited. And we are going to go to breakfast with the family. I thought that would be fun to start our morning off. We're gonna have breakfast. We're gonna order pancakes, and then we're gonna go to my ultrasound. Your ultrasound. <laughs> I'm very excited. I have a little bit of nerves, but I'm very excited. We have been on cloud 10 for days, and I keep taking a test because I just don't believe it. And every time it shows up positive, I just can't even believe it. It's been exciting. It's so great. And with that, I am, I don't sleep. And I think it's just because I'm excited. Like I wake up all night just like, I can't believe this. This is so unreal. And my eyes are tired and. <laughs> Every night when we go to bed, Ellie's like, can you even believe this? Like, isn't this crazy? I am so happy and I am looking like crazy on Pinterest right now. I am showing Jared. There's a bunch of photos. Of course, I want to take while I'm expecting, but look at this like I think it'd be so pretty to do something like this where it's like a silhouette you know mm -hmm. every few weeks or every trimester or something pregnancy I have got this massage bar for my tummy from Lush and the whole nine months it lasts me and I rub it on my belly every day and even like towards the end of the pregnancy when my belly is stretched and tired and it hurts um, I rub it on it more than once a day and it lasts the whole nine months I feel really good I am so like I, I'm not, I think I'm tired just because I've been really excited and I haven't slept, but um, I can tell around three o'clock I'm just like kind of done for the day. Like my eyes are so tired and I'm hungry. Like right when I wake up, if I do not eat, I'm just like, I need to eat or I'm gonna be cranky. So those are just two things that I definitely have noticed, but it still boggles my mind. I take a test every morning because I just don't think that it's real. And it just, I just don't know what to do all day. This is what my face looks like. I'm just, I'm excited. Um, I am a little nervous. I think that with every pregnancy I have been a little nervous. It's always in the back of my mind of like, what ifs? And you just really never know until you have that healthy baby in your arms, but um, I'm just, I'm excited and I'm going to be excited right now and um, I am a little nervous for appointments coming up but um, I'm just going to try and enjoy the moment as it's here and um, I hope and pray that everything goes safe and good. I have a really good feeling though about it and I think that that says a lot for me if I feel really good and at peace. My heart just starts pounding and my heart starts racing and I get a little nervous and I can't even imagine 
how you feel, Ellie. Catch it, I go. Okay. So I'm sitting here and I just got the house cleaned. Everyone took naps today, feeling great. And I'm just like going, looking at fall and Christmas decor because I am just like kind of obsessed thinking about like fall decor right now. And I got a phone call and a voicemail from my doctor. So when I called to go in for my first appointment, they just did blood work and I asked them if I could get on progesterone because if you get on progesterone from what I was told, having Jackson is, it doesn't hurt you just to get on it because it just can help prevent miscarriage is what the fertility doctors had told me. And so with having a miscarriage a few months ago, calling in, I asked them, I said, can we um, get me on progesterone? And she's like, well, I, I talked to the doctor and we'll check your levels and if they're low, then we'll give it to you. And so I just got a call from the doctor, which I love when like the doctor himself calls, like I'm gonna try not to get emotional, but it just means a lot to me. It just means a lot to me when they personally call and he just left a really heartfelt message and he said it's nothing to worry about but he said um, that my progesterone is a little borderline and he said so um, hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> I'm like <laughs> I, I think I get it but it was kind of funny how he said it. Anyway so they called me in a prescription so Jared I was like run like my heart just sank and I'm just like no like ugh. So he's gonna go get me some progesterone and I'm gonna be on that until the first trimester is over with to give me a little boost. And so I'm really hoping that everything will be good. You know, that's, it's just always in the back of your mind like scare and fear. And I've really enjoyed the last week just like kind of in our own element, just Jared and I knowing and just like enjoying it and thinking about the pregnancy and just, enjoying it for myself for a minute and that does worry me a little bit but I still feel really good and really positive but it's just one of those things along the way you know you spot a little bit and you get really nervous or your progesterone's low and you get a little nervous which I think you should you know it's like that's your baby and you want everything to go smooth so Jared is on his way to go get the medicine and I'll keep you guys updated hopefully everything will continue to go smooth this is it. This is it, boys. Okay, look, when the doctor comes in, Jackson, we'll be able to look up on this TV and we're gonna see if we can find the baby, okay? <laughs> is that exciting? Okay, do you wanna see the TV better? So we just had the cutest moment. Jared and I were not gonna tell Jackson yet. We were gonna wait until we had our ultrasound mm -hmm. and we were gonna- like the picture and everything. Yeah, or bring him with us. And I just went to the bathroom and I was like, like, how my tummy? And I was showing Jared. And Jackson, did you find something out tonight about my tummy? Yeah, a baby. And you you said, Mom, is there a baby in your tummy? Yeah. And, and what is the baby doing? It's growing. Yeah. yeah. And you found out tonight, huh? You figured it out. And that's the thing. <laughs> that's he funny. He figured it out. Ellie was just like, Jared, look at my tummy. And he says, is there a baby in your tummy? <laughs> it was the cutest thing in the world. So you can tell your brother tomorrow, huh? Should you tell Calvin? Yes. And I asked you, do you think we'll have a brother or a sister? A brother. Brother. Okay, that changed from two seconds ago, so we'll see. <laughs> he said sister before. Okay, it's time for bed. Okay, do you guys have your spot? You guys ready to see when the doctor comes in? <laughs> <laughs> I am getting ready to go out for the night and I am nervous. I'm nervous because I'm worried that I'm gonna be sick driving home. I have been very sick at night. I don't have morning sickness. I totally have night sickness, which is so weird for me because I've never really had sickness when I've been pregnant. Of course, there's been a few days where I was like, oh, I don't feel good and maybe a little nausea, but I've never been like, I need to lay down, I'm nauseated, you know? But the last few nights have been so bad. Last night was so, so bad. I had Jared put a bowl next to my bed just in case I woke up and needed to throw up. And so tonight I'm going out and we'll see. Hopefully I can make it home okay. Thank you, baby.
Baby. It's okay, baby. Are you saying it's okay, baby? It's okay, baby. Jackson is saying it's okay, baby. Because I was pushing him and he was pretending to kick me and I'd go, ah, oh, and he'd laugh. And then after a minute he goes, Where's your baby? And I said, In my tummy. And he said, I don't want to hurt the baby. And so now he's saying, What are you saying? It's okay, baby. It's okay, baby. It's okay, baby. <laughs> and then you stopped pretending to kick so you wouldn't kick the baby. I thought that was so sweet of you. You ready for this? Yes. Alright. Well, ho hopefully days. I'm far along to see on this. Surface. The external, yeah. I'm eight, 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 eight weeks and four days, okay. I think. Okay. say we can't see from above. Ready, yeah. boys? Yeah. <laughs> Push hard. So. Look up at the TV, okay? Look up right there. Dang it. Too little, okay. So, because here's the gray part. Yes, here's that's the baby. Here's the sack. The baby, okay. Dad. I just can't. Edward's the okay. baby. We might have to use a different <laughs> ultrasound to see the baby. I gotta tell you guys, a little, I, I never would say to look with the vaginal, I have a little concern, right? Like, to me, that's a little bit irregular. What does that mean? Not as big as it should be. And this is kind of why I was nervous to have the kids come. If something didn't go right, because he was just like, Where is the Where's the baby? Jackson, we're going to make sure that there's a, a healthy baby. I think he's basing it off of their measurements, not ours. ours. So I think two weeks is a big difference when this baby's that little. I know you didn't want to, <laughs> but we got to go the other way. Okay. Have a little anxiety. What's that big gray on the left? This right here. Yeah. There's a little cyst on your right ovary. That's probably a little bit of blood. And this is a sad. Baby, baby. Ah. It grows probably to the I don't point. want to watch this one. Three weeks, four weeks, and then stops. It stops. Uh, I don't want to watch this one. Yeah. And it keeps going. Yeah. So the sack grows. Yeah. But it's empty. Yeah. It's not really empty, right? If we put it inside there and look. As you guys can probably tell from the video, the baby stopped growing and we are going to miscarry. Um, but we had one, exactly one month of the most enjoyable month together. Like we had this yes. to ourselves and we've never done that before and it was special and it was nice and we really enjoyed it. Jared summed it up perfect. He's like, this month has been bliss. And I am so glad that we continue to document it, though. Mm -hmm. And I have so many cute pictures of my itty bitty teeny belly. <laughs> I gained four pounds. Like, huh. and this was like a fun month. And we, in our Q and A, I had said Jared and I, with us filming for four years, we're learning what to do and not to do. And especially when it comes to raw emotions yeah it's very important that we keep things and enjoy it and grieve and do that on our timing and we've been open to each other and to you guys that if good and bad we would announce and today we were going to announce good or bad and um unfortunately it doesn't end very well um, but we did have a wonderful month. We really did. There's trials in life and we go through these trials and I've always said the trials you go through don't define you. It's how you overcome those trials and we're going to keep going forward and you know, we are going to feel the sad emotion. Oh yes. We are going to feel that and we're going to go through this process, but that doesn't mean we're not going to keep our chins up and our heads forward. Um, Ellie, Ellie tweeted the other day, having a positive attitude doesn't mean that you can't be sad but it's being able to recognize that there's going to be better days ahead. Well, and just because you're positive doesn't mean you're always happy. Mm -hmm. Like we're just looking at a bright side and tomorrow's a new day, but I am going to allow myself to be sad and Absolutely. grieve. And I do have two beautiful, healthy boys and I did get pregnant on my own and that all alone in and of itself is a blessing. And I see that 
but I'm still gonna grieve and I'm gonna be yeah. very sad and I am sad and it was amazing. I took like so many tests. All this of those month. are positive. <laughs> so many tests this month. And it was amazing. And I took one just like two weeks ago just because I couldn't even believe yeah. believe it. I think I'm mostly sad because of Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> Cause like we weren't gonna tell him. <laughs> he figured it out. <laughs> but he kinda, you know, it's kinda hard not to. And yeah. he did figure it out and he's been the cutest to me. Always asking about how's the baby and it was just really sweet and He's it just goes friendly. to show what kind of person he is and we are so, so grateful for Jackson and Calvin. We are so grateful for them and the love that we have for them and the love they have for us. I mean, we're Oh yeah, we just stared them. at them today and just like stared all day and we're like, what should we do? Whatever yeah. you want, kids. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was, it was a... Yeah day to spend with family but we're gonna go ahead and say good night to you guys i thoroughly enjoyed all my conversations with our family today i'm so grateful that we have them to lean on absolutely thank you guys for supporting us and coming along this crazy life and i know a lot of you have experienced this too and just we're just sharing our little bits of journey so thank you for watching we'll see you guys next time bye